is really interesting. It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, I've never seen anything like it. Jason with Denworks, Dan Stanley. He kind of uh, conked out halfway to here. I don't know if you guys knew that we went on the Gambler 500. Mrs. Denworks and I, there she is. Hello, I'm being cool. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we went on the Gambler 500. If you listen to our podcast, you'll just die. Stanley, uh, he almost died on it from heat exhaustion from being in the AC. Twice. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, two times. So anyways, it's funny, but you can check us on, out on our podcast. It's called No Reserve. You can also go to Instagram on Denworks, D-E-N-W-E-R-K-S on Instagram. And you can check us out on our Facebook page, um, website, whatever. But we'll tell a story about how Stanley almost died, but uh, it was a trip. But I think he would have liked riding in this wagon a lot better because we were we were driving a wagon. But what we have in front of us is a 1950 Plymouth Suburban. And if you know Chevy Suburbans, this looks a little different. This looks like a actually a cool version because it's a two-door wagon and really, really cool. I'd want to call it a deluxe model because it has a lot of chrome and trim and everything on it. Even the hubcaps are original uh, dog dish. Um, it's just it's just got a cool look. It has a, a 1972 Chevy 350 four bolt main and a turbo uh, 350 automatic nine inch Ford rear end with uh, 325 gears and it does have AC. So super nice uh, car. I forgot the color, but it's obviously green. Um, but this is a factory color. It was um, bought new in Napa, Idaho, by a family in the late 70s 80s they moved to uh, Oregon here and they had a floral company and um, use it sparingly with their floral company what's the odometer on it um, 45 127 <coughs> it is said to be that that's what the miles are but we have no clue and it, the thing's been modified now doesn't matter but I do have pictures of it in original paint um, before it got restored and modified the way it is but uh, take that with a grain of salt because I don't know um, but that, that is the history of it and if you look underneath and you look at s certain things about the car it is rust free um, and I haven't seen any rust repairs uh, the story is probably true but you know I don't 100% know <coughs> sorry for the coughing I got a little bit of allergies so we're gonna walk around the front um, he did a lot of nice things uh, to the car he, um, when he got it in the early 90s, he started restoring it. It was done mid 90s, late 90s. And he was the president of the Pacific Plymouth Club here in the Northwest. And he loved the car. Sold it to a friend of mine in uh, 2017, and he's had it since. So um, nice history, technically a three owner history car. And it's, it's cool, titled here in Oregon. So we'll just walk around the front. You can see the bright work is actually really nice. He used uh, stainless bolts and everything when they did all the you know body panels and all that stuff but um, you can see the bumpers everything looks good. These are aftermarket that go over the headlights, these eyebrows, uh, but I think they look cool on it. When you look down the side of the car super straight, really it's really a nice car and I love the color of it it could use a new emblem here this is the original emblem though and you know you can find stuff like that NOS and stuff but um, he wanted to keep it original you can see here this is the original hood ornament as well and it has some pitting in it there but the rest of the car is real nice I didn't tell Leslie this but underneath the dash if you there's a lever, if you pull that, that flips up and down right in the middle. There you go. Um, that's nice, that lets a lot of air in there. So it has 15 by six wheels on it that are reverse and two different size tires. You got a 215, 60, 15 on the front. And in the back, when I get back there, I'll tell you what it is. I think it's a 255, 
6015. But uh, the only thing that I did to it is I put these little beaded um, uh, trim rings, thin, thin trim rings, I thought looked nice. We did change the valve cover gaskets and fix the oil leak on it as well. But um, the paint is great. Hardly any little chips, really no scratches. Um, it's just really clean. So if you see me pointing at something, it might be a, a, a chip or something like that, but probably not because, you know, even if you look at the, the seams, the hood hasn't hit or anything like that. Um, chrome looks nice. The stainless emblem looks good. Stainless looks, I like that rocker molding uh, down there. It looks really nice. You can see a little imperfection in the paint right there. Not trying to nitpick it, but you know, you gotta find little things. There is a little tiny chip right here on the door, you know, around the wheel wells. Look great. I'll put it up on my lift so you can see. There's no um, repairs on the inner tubs or anything like that. We've got uh, 255 60 15s on the back. Roof is really nice. Roof gutters, not rusty. They're all seam sealed when he did it. It would look really cool with one of those wooden racks that kind of look like they have suction cups on it and they, they strap on. That would look really killer. If you look down the side from the back, again, very straight. And look at all the panel gaps are really nice. Go ahead and, uh, oh, when we go around the front, I'll show you the lights, sorry. Um, rear bumper looks good. 1950 license plate. Has a third brake light. Also has a hitch, custom hitch with a seven prong pr plug. If you look underneath here, there's some reverse lights, which I'll show you. Dual exhaust all the way back with an H pipe. Um, I'll show you the interior, how everything opens up. Look at the, the roof. You know, just just a nice car. And I can't really, I don't know, it's cool. I'd like to own it. If you look down here at the bottom of the doors, no bubbles or anything like that. And you'll be equally impressed when I uh, put it up on the lift. I like these sliding windows. These slide this way, windows roll up and down. Nice as well. So we'll go ahead and, uh, why don't you go ahead and fire it up. We'll show the lights and everything. Starts up really good. Go to headlights, or, mark, or marker lights and headlights, and that bright lights on the floor. I didn't show her where those at, were at down there. Are they on the floor? Actually, they might be on the column. Push the... I know they're there. <laughs> we'll go ahead and go with blinkers. We got left, and we got right. And I'll go ahead and go to the back. Actually, let me look in here. I know. Right. Oh, right here. Oh. There, that little lever. Well, we'll try it. Hopefully it works. Yep. They work. It's got a GM tilt column. Also, I didn't tell everybody. Go ahead and rev it up a little bit because I know you like to do that. <laughs> Thing sounds killer. <laughs> I like it. Uh, you got tail lights on, tail lights, and they got extra bright bulbs in it. And you can see this light works here for the license plate. Uh, blinkers, got left, and we got right, and then brakes. We got brakes, and then put it in reverse. You see those little lights turn on uh, down there, and you can see that seven prong plug. So all that's working, you put it back in park. And for the heck of it, rev it up one more time. I like it. <laughs> you want to buy it? It's going to make anyone cool and have sunglasses like this. Yeah, perfect. We'll show you some more stuff. <laughs> hey, I'm going to go ahead and show you the interior. Check this out, the way this shuts. So nice. Very nice interior, very, very, very tasteful. All stock looking. It's 
it's got different material obviously but very stock someone didn't put a bunch of seats from auto parts store or something like that but very original seat nice stitching everything looks good you can see it's got a gm tilt column um i love the horn wipers are electric um i forgot to show you those but i'll show you when we're driving uh everything else is very stock looking underneath here besides the uh kenwood stereo in it it'd be kind of cool to make something a little different inset that and have a chrome grill or something on it that looked more factory um i don't have a lot of things to complain about but that would be the only thing that I would change uh, in here and I think you could do something and then also you can see it's got vintage air those vents aren't supposed to be there but um, tilt wheel obviously can't do it with two hands but uh, this is for the the hood um, door panels look great you know again no issues VIN number edge of the doors new rubber gaskets and everything Look inside this door jam. Again, looks really, really good. If you look at the carpet, it looks good. It's a little dark in here, but you'll see a little, little seam. There was a seam right here that came loose. So the carpet might have to come back out and re-sew that. Uh, brake pedals and everything look, look good. But very nice carpet overall. Um, the back seat, it does flip forward. I'm not going to do it in the video because then I got to put the seat belts back in. But this flips up and that lays down. I've got that in a video for you. They made these little compartments, which are nice. So looks really great. Look at the headliner. Very nice headliner. In these windows, there's a little lock right here. You push this up and then you can you can slide the window. So um, kind of a nice feature. For sure so we'll walk around the back here for you real fast show you a couple goodies i do like how the back opens there's a little latch catch right there and you just push that up you turn this flip it back up and it catches and i love these little handles if you just flip that forward if you look here flip this forward and your tailgate comes down very cool i don't know what it is about that but I absolutely love it. There's an electric gas tank uh, thing too. This is uh, Mopar original right here. And there's a little button, electric gas tank uh, flipper. Do it another time. So pretty cool. I like that. So that's an NOS part that was put on it. Also the luggage doesn't go with it. And if you saw pictures of Stanley back here, those two items don't go with it, but you'll see here, um, I've got in the auction, a bunch of registrations. You can see they're all laid out. Whoops. Service manual, an ad, and we've got the uh, owner's manual, matching plate for the back, brochure, and then another ad. The door lock on the passenger side doesn't work. Here's a new one for you. And then a bunch of receipts as well and information. Uh, some other receipts in general on the car. And I think this thing, this guy was so into this thing. Check this out, this coat rack he made. Really cool. He had made that himself. And this is really, really cool. Original promo car from 1950 same color and it's really neat leslie help me real fast i want to show these guys this i want to there's two little levers right here that put that flip the seat let's come in here a little bit so if you look at this promo car there's two little levers down there if you look at the the back seat there it flips forward and then open the back uh, does the other one it yeah is. flips that open and then this flips down so you can flip the seat back up you gotta be yeah now it flips back up and then that one flips back 
There's two little controls. There yeah. we go. Hopefully you can see that in the video, but there's two little controls. I just thought it was cool. This is a cool, this is a cool piece right here. I'm gonna guess that's probably a $500 car, but that is included uh, with it. Um, also in the pictures, now I now I think about it, I now I can't look at the spare, but that's all finished underneath there, spare tire, all painted and everything. You can look at the photos uh, in the video. So I'll go ahead and look at the interior on this side. Again, not a lot to see, but everything looks really good everything in order all the door jams seats no rips or anything like that glove box it's got a, a, a little flipper and then i don't know what all that is uh, glove box uh, cart liner looks good too um, but everything's nice nice door panels just a nice car we'll just take a look at the seat here again really nice and looks good so anyways hopefully that gives you a good idea what the interior looks like i'm gonna show you some more stuff hey we're gonna go ahead and uh lift the hood there's a lever inside actually you pull it there you go now i can't remember oh yeah little little latch right there and i lift it right up so what we have underneath the hood like i mentioned before is the 72 chevy engine and looks really nice in there you know they didn't have to do a lot of modifications or anything to the firewall it looks good we'll start it up here in a few minutes so you can see it look at the cowl everything looks really nice has upgraded heat ac i'll show you the thing click click on and off you can see bullet billet uh aluminum pulleys and everything like that you know just just really nice it's got headers dual exhaust h pipe edelbrock performer intake gm uh, electronic ignition optimum battery um just really nice on, on here, in here. Right there is a, a, a solenoid cutoff, right there. Shut the power off if you need to. Radiator's been upgraded to a four row as well. Um, you can see ID numbers, the VIN numbers in the door, and that block off plate's probably for original heater that it had, but everything's been finished, even underneath the hood. Everything looks good and You'll also see when I put it on my lift, no wrinkles or anything like that. That's the other thing that I'm looking at, this structure in here. It looks really nice. I don't know if I need to say anything else um, underneath here, the uh, except let you hear it run. You know, it runs really good. I did put new valve covers on. I might have already mentioned it to you. And it's got disc brakes at the front, drums in the back original front suspension but it's got rack and pinion on it um but original front su suspension on it still and it's been lowered obviously go ahead and rev it up a little bit it's a torquey little guy too go ahead and turn the ac on you can hear it click on so all that's functioning uh too so anyways hopefully that helps you underneath the hood if you got questions give me a jingle hey we're going to take a look at the suburban underneath we always do a video uh, we've been doing that for a while um, instead of just doing photos because you can kind of tell a lot more about a vehicle underneath in a, in a video because i mean sometimes people don't know exactly what they're looking at and you know because you're not looking at shiny paint and so this gives just gives a better all-around feeling of the car underneath and i can get a flashlight out and show you different stuff you can see here very clean underneath um it does have power steering with it's got um factory suspension but then it's been added with a rack and pinion in it right here <clears throat> so it actually drives 
really, really nice. And one thing you'll be able to tell underneath, underneath this car, no accident damage, no rust repair on the floors or anything like that. And it's amazing too that these, these frames were factory boxed, which is really nice. But <clears throat> we'll just start here with the front to the back. You can see the balance up here, splash apron. It's very clean. Frame horns all look really good right in here. Cross member looks good. You can see the disc brakes up on the front. The shocks, brake lines all look really good uh, as well. And um, very clean. You can see the exhaust goes all the way back. It's got flow masters on it with the H pipe. But well, it's cool because you can take the H pipe out if you never need to take the exhaust out. Usually people weld that in, so that's nice to have. <clears throat> Power brakes, it's got a Corvette style master, um, turbo 350, you can just see underneath the, the engine here, actually very dry, you can see a little bit of seepage around the uh, oil pan gasket, but nothing major, and I think some of that is, because we put new valve cover gaskets on it, because it was leaking pretty bad um, in the corners, and so we put new valve cover gaskets on it, so we did have some drippage here earlier and it had a uh, oil line for um, uh, up above for one of the gauges that was leaking. Uh, so it's actually really good right now, but you're just seeing a little bit of residue. And I think that's actually what's around the, the oil pan and because it's not red. Um, if you take a look at the frame, again, really nice condition. If you look at the floors, these are original floors, so they didn't paint them. They actually look really, really good. You can see the frame, uh, body mount inside the rocker. Very, very nice. You can see the body mount there. Again, really, really, really good. You can see all the little drain holes are open. <clears throat> very clean. Take a look at the floor on the inner here again. Looks really nice. You know, no signs of repairs or anything like that that I can see at all. If you look here at this floor, again, really nice factory undercoating underneath there. Look at inside the rocker, body mounts. All look really good. Bottom of the rocker here looks nice as well. Um, it does have a Ford 9-inch in it, which is nice. And you can tell a 9-inch actually um, with a Ford. It's got a center rib right there compared to an 8-inch. Um, but you'll see this little center spline uh, right there. It's got Monroe Maddox here in the back. Actually, these are gas, ma or gas um, magnums. I think it's Monroe Maddox on the front because those ones are blue. Uh, but you can see the rear end looks good. It's got a 325 uh, in it. And on the on the spec sheet, it said it had, actually it's got 325s in it. On the spec sheet, there was an additional three, uh, three to one. Um, we don't have that, um, and it wasn't with the car when we got it, but it's got 325s in it now. If you look at the frame back here, Everything looks really good up inside the wheel well. Very clean. It's got a hitch on it. Seven prong. Has lights underneath here for uh, hooking up a trailer. I don't know what kind of trailer it hooked. It might have been a little boat or a little teardrop or something like that, I'm guessing. Um, and it does have trailer brakes, uh, by the way. Too, if you look at the trunk drop-off area, again, really, really, really clean. Let's see up on this side. Hopefully you can see. Back in here is areas where rigs like this rust. Or you can see wrinkles or something like that. But this is really clean. Inner tubs look really nice. I'll just show you from the other side as well. Inner tub looks really good. And very nice. I didn't look 
I can't remember if I already showed you the date code on these. Uh, 12800. I'm going to guess these tires are from 2000. Um, so they are an older tire, but they look good. They're not cracked or anything like that. Um, they look in really good shape. So, But if you were worried about it and you wanted to change them out, you could do that, obviously. Um, and that's something we could help you with here in Oregon. Um, if you had a set of tires or that you wanted to get, we don't have sales tax here, so... Uh, for a small fee, we take them off and and uh, set up tires for you. You know, if you pay for it and stuff, so you can save a little bit of money there. And, and they gave me a pretty good deal. So, anyways, that gives you a good look underneath of it. Um, we'd love to help you out. Very clean car, very drivable. Um, if you got questions, give me a jingle. We would be glad to help out. And check us out on denworks.com. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook. Just type in Denworks. And we'd be glad to help you. Thanks for taking a look.